good news is nobody's detected or nobody any good's detected here because they would have got that. Morning, everybody. I go get in Gary's Jeep and he's wearing short sleeve shirt. And he's got the heater just cranked up in here. I'm dying. Hard top heater. I had to roll the window down just so I could catch a breath of fresh air. We did it! We found sunshine! That reminds me of a song. <laughs> but no, I'm not gonna sing. Well, today, I'm not using the Gold Master. I'm gonna use Gary's TDI. We pack it around a lot, and half the time I turn it on once or twice and I'll go back to the Gold Master, but today, the Gold Master is in the Jeep, but today, I'm gonna focus on using the TDI and see how I can do with it. And of course, Gary's got the SDC. And right now, he's ground balancing the TDI for me. And looking for gold. So when he was over there ground balancing the TDI for me, is what he said. I think he was just getting the jump on me. He got a target, now he's checking it with the SDC. First target, piece of wire, no gold. Gary just started digging his target. You'll see what it is. Mine's a 22 bullet. Want to trade? What? Want to trade? What'd you get? Piece of wire. <laughs> Take it, that's a no. Now, good news is nobody's detected or nobody any good's detected here because they would have got that. Got another target right here. Um, this is a darker bedrock, greenish bedrock and don't usually find gold with it, but uh, we can hope, huh? We'll see what we pull out of this one. Well, first square nail of the day. It's what you hope for. This is bedrock. Look at that crevice right there. I'm just hoping that there's gold there. All right. Sounds like a nail, but we'll see. All right, it's part of a bullet. It's part of the copper jacketing. No, it wasn't a nail. The tallest area right there, there's a crack right in the top. I found one nice little piece up there. Well, that's more than we've got over here. I saw well, I'd like to say I have first gold, but Hugo beat me to that, and, uh, and he's do another pan right now. I got the rest of that bullet. I've been digging here for a good half hour and I've pulled out six targets. No gold. Lead, copper, nails, no gold. All right, after digging all that other stuff over there, I moved over here. Check this out. I moved it. It was down here. I moved it up here. This is a nice crevice right here. Hopefully that's a piece of gold. Let's see. We got it. Well, 
Nice big piece of lead. But we have another target right there, so. Let's see what that one is. And I can hear Gary's got something up, up the creek. Well, lead twins. See what that is. Just let it go. All right, well, Gary's punishment, because I've been working on that spot for half an hour, and he comes over and asks me if I've done any good. And of course, I've got plenty of lead, so he's helping me with that, but Gary's got gold. Let's take a look. Well, there's Gary's two pieces of gold. And I see Hugo down there throwing rocks in the river, so I'm pretty sure he don't have anything. And uh, I don't have anything but a bunch of lead. But Gary's got gold. But Gary always has gold. He's wearing his squint goggles water cold hammer works good huh Now this is how you know if your detector's working. Right there is a little sliver of wire. And me and Gary worked on that for half an hour at least, but we got it. I was hoping it was gold, but it wasn't. Well, there's a piece of lead and a piece of gold there. But wouldn't you know it, the piece of lead's bigger. And Gary just got back from lunch, so he, see, he smells gold. I didn't eat lunch. I'm going to work right on through. Yep, that's what gold looks like. Yeah, see now Gary's taunting me because I can't find these two targets. <laughs> well, that's pretty light though. First 
Gold and nail and 22 bullet. Little old square nail. And I'm willing to bet you there's still a target in that hole. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, wouldn't you know it? Like my new detector. Yeah, right there. That's the best part right nice there. Nice and shiny. Right there. Um, well, that's what Bennett said. He's like, man, that thing's pretty all brand new. <laughs> hey, he pulled it up. I had a spot that had a little warble. I couldn't get the TDI down in it. Hugo came over and stuck him on it. He's got more gold in one pan than I've got all day. <laughs> and he's still got a target down there. Hopefully he pulls out a nice nugget. All three of these were in a row. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. You guys want to see my gold? It's like a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> Made it disappear. I left it for somebody else to find. That's just the kind of guy you are. Yeah, right? that's, that's the kind of guy I am. Not my day for finding gold. Three pieces for him. I'm going to give him one. But he's got a lot of flower gold. So uh, we're going to detect our way back out. If we find something, you'll see it at the end. It's so small, it didn't even register. And look, it turned itself off. And there's Gary's gold, 0 0.60. Woo! -hoo! And there's the lead king, plus a whole bunch of small stuff. I didn't even attempt to put it on there. I might not have found all the gold, <laughs> but I got all the Dano balls. Thank you, buddy. Awesome. Gary.